This is DIY Mushroom Tech with Chapter 3.3.4. Now we will light up our grow tent. Since this project is multi-layered, I decided to take an unusual approach. I produced this video in a way, that it can also be used as a printout. That means you can use it offline, or even use just print some single pages of it. All the design that are shown can also be downloaded. Hey! My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, and I will be your host. Let us illuminate our grow tent. This video is all about the illumination. We will check out what the specification are. We will have a detailed look the installation and watch a video about it. We finish with the bill of materials. Before we start. I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? There is a serious reason why I ask. In life there is balance everywhere. Summer and winter, day and night, hot and cold, and so on. It's obviously natural, that taking and giving is also a polarity that needs to be in balance. Only when there is balance can we, as humans, achieve harmony and genuine happiness. That means, if you take something for example from the internet, you should also give something back. Please check for yourself if your life is in balance. If you want, you can support me with a donation. That would be great. You could also support any other good project. Send someone a smile, leave somewhere a nice comment, or just be joyous and spread some love. Let us have a look at the specifications. I have two solutions for the illumination. First solution is the usage of LED strips. They are very convenient, as one only needs to fixate the strip inside the tent. Second solution is the usage of LED bars. One has a little bit more cabling to do, but after one can plug of separate layers. This way it consumes much less energy. The LED bars are normally watertight. As we never have water droppings in our tent's normal DuPont connector or universal cable connector also work fine. You only need different illumination, if you want to grow plants in your tent. Now we will look into some details. Solution 1. I used 5 meters LED warm white flexible light stripe. Connected with only one connector. Here you see the top area. The connection happens via cable fixer. I used quite a lot, in order to have a nice clean look. Picture of the first layer with shelf. Picture of second layer. Third layer with shelf again. Fourth layer also has lightning. On the fifth layer the LED band end. I have never water dropping there. I used a DuPont connector with one empty space between the power and ground cable, just to be sure. I will now show you a video of this first solution.
Now we will have a look at the second solution. LED bars. One bar has the length of 50 centimeters. I have one above each grow layer. This is the top LED bar. I fixated it with cable fixer. A connected it with a connector. Her you will need a special one. You need to split it, in order to have incoming power for the top layer and then again one free connection to connect the next layer. I used this connection for the top and the middle layer. You can just use a WAGO connector. A little bit simpler. I do not use 2x1 connectors. Always use 3x1 connectors. The free space between power and ground cable is for safety, in case you do have small water droppings. I never had any. Here you have a better look at the connector. It is the power feeder to connect the middle layer and further support the bottom layer. On the picture I showed you how you could use a wage connector to achieve the same result. You will need one connector for the power line and one for the ground line. Fixing is again realized with cable fixer, this time above the bottom layer. As it is the last lead bar, you just connect it simple as it is. Nothing special is needed. Here you see a picture from the ground, with the three installed lead bars. You could easily install five or more bars. But then I would maybe go for the LED band. Here you see the mushrooms I did grow with the lights. You see the little waves on the top. They resulted because of the turning of the lights on and off during nighttime. Now I will show you a video of the second solution. We will wrap this session up with a look at the materials that you will need. I used LED bars or LED band, always 12 volt and warm white. They are normally waterproof. This is the 5 meter LED strip I used. You can buy them everywhere nowadays. The bars are not really waterproof, I guess. But I like the aluminum shell and that I can plug them separately on and off. This is a good universal connector. Useful for a lot of things. This is a DuPont crimping set. I like it. It works great. You may need an extra tool to strip off the insulation. These WAGO terminals are really convenient. One line in, and then you have it duplicated up to four times. And of course, cable fixer. I guess everybody has them in his workshop. I use the black ones. But 3D printing I do always in white. 
That was my lecture. Which lightning do you use? Please tell us. Share anything meaningful to your fellow man. This time, I do not know what the next lecture will be. As I have posted now all the core content to grow mushrooms indoors. Thank you, for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and even learned something new. Let's bring some light into this sometimes dark world. Auf Wiedersehen.